So the first thing I want to talk about is Jaden Alexis and Blueface. So I saw a video this week and Jaden Alexis got mad at Blueface because he said he likes Ebony. And for those who are unaware, Ebony is a black woman and a black man having intercourse. And he said that's his favorite type of and that made Jaden Alexis feel away. And I want to play the clip for y'all so we could talk about it. But she was pressed. She was very pressed. And I'm not surprised at her reaction. But let's get into it. Hold up. Uh, Ebony. Oh, you know what baddiehub.com is? Baddiehub.com? Like? Um, Me? Yeah, what kind of answer is that? Like, like asking them. Why would you say that? Because it's like, I can't, like. You want to know what the fuck I like? No, no, no. You I know, I know you. I know like? you like big black cop strap ons with chicks and and dykes and dykes and chicks. I know what I you like, okay? But like dykes and dykes and chicks. but me personally, no. like, it's hard for me to watch like other races have intercourse. I think you should shut the fuck up. All right, you want the mic? No, I'm just what, saying. What, what, because, low, 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 no, wait. Tell us what type said, you I like. Just said, I would have just said I watch our tapes. I wouldn't have told everybody. Okay, which type them. you like, though? I don't worry about it. What type you like? I'm, I'm logging off. Well, there you have it, folks. That's another mad preference. Getting mad because a black man like his own. And you know, what's funny to me is Jaden is always saying the N-word and claiming that she's black. And let me tell y'all right now, this girl is not a black woman, okay? Her grandmother is black. So that means she is not 50% or more black, which means she is not a black woman. But she loves to claim her blackness when she want to say the N-word. And when she want that big black deek. But then when her man says he like ebony, she didn't resonate with that. She didn't categorize herself as an ebony princess. Because she know deep down she is not a black woman. And this is a pattern I see with a lot of preferences. Especially of the Latin X background. They will go for black men. And then they will get mad when a black man shows love to a black woman. As if it's a crime. Because... A lot of these non-black women that get with black men assume that the black men they're getting with hate black women. There are colorist black men who strictly date out and they don't like black women at all. But there are black men out here who date Latinas, date Chinese women, date Indian women, and date black women at the same time. And them dating out doesn't mean that they hate black women. They just open up their options to everybody. But because majority of black men who date out are colorist or texturists or featurists, a lot of these non-black women assume that if they're getting with a black man, they hate black women. And when they see that that black man actually likes black women, they get mad and they show their ass and they show their internalized racism. You see how mad she got? She said, what type of answer is that? Like, it's a crime for a black man to say he likes watching black <laughs> Excuse me, sis. She was expecting him to say he likes mixed race <laughs> what, what, what the fuck were you expecting him to say? That is a black man. That man got a black ass mom. So it was just funny to me how... She loves to claim that she's black and she loves to say the N-word. But then when her man finally says he likes ebony princesses, she doesn't resonate with it. And suddenly she doesn't categorize herself as black. Now she feels away. And I know that hurt her little ego because she was expecting him to put down a black woman to uplift her. That's what she was expecting. She was expecting him to say, oh, you know, I like watching the Latina princesses hop on a black dick. She was expecting him to say that shit. 
she was expecting him to say, yeah, no, I don't really like watching black women. Like, I, I know exactly what she was expecting him to say. And that's why she was so shocked at that answer. And I don't know if y'all saw, but when she went on an interview with Jason Lee, and he was talking about how he got head from Megan Thee Stallion, she almost reacted the same way. It, like, made her want to throw up. You know, like the thought of Blueface being with a black woman. And I mean, like an ebony princess, you know, not a light skinned black woman like Krishan, like a black woman that it made her want to throw up. And honestly, I'm not surprised. And I wouldn't be surprised if she real life don't like black women. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I wouldn't be surprised if she's one of those Latinas that talk shit about black women and act like she's better than us because there's a lot like that. Okay. Remember Sin Santana talking and bragging about, oh, yeah, you know, black men, they just love us Spanish guys. She was trying to put down black women to uplift Latinas because Joe Budden was dating her. And then... Come to find out Joe Budden cheated on her with a dark-skinned woman. He either cheated or he left. One of the two. But I know when they broke up, he was on a date with a whole dark-skinned model that was way more prettier than Sin Santana. And I know she was pressed. Because you see, these women, they think that they're better than black women. And they real life do not like us. And it gives them an ego boost when they get with a black man who will openly say that they don't like black women and they will go out of their way to date outside of their race. So they don't have to date a black woman. And when they see black men show love to their own, it, it makes them want to throw up. Because now they don't feel like the chosen one. Now they don't feel special anymore. So, and I don't even hate Jaden like that. You know, I like the song Barbie. I'm a bad little bitch and I'm slipped like a Barbie. Hips, lips, ass in a cutter. I'm a spirit motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. You know, I like that song. And, you know, I do think she gets like a lot of hate that is kind of unnecessary due to the whole Krishan situation. And I don't think that she's completely ugly either. I don't think that... You know, I don't think she's like internet pretty. You know, she's not IG model pretty, but I don't think she's ugly, you know? You know, so I don't hate the girl. But this was very telling. Her reaction to this was very telling. Miss ma'am. Miss, 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 I'm a Latina, but I like to say the N word. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Latina, but I like black deke. It was, it was very telling. So, Yeah. But um, <clears throat> let's get into the next topic. <laughs> let's get into the next topic. So the next thing I want to talk about is Miss Natalie Nunn. 